Okay, we are live now. Let's get this started. We are filming in here because outside is super windy. I tried to record, but you hear a bunch of wind noise here. We do this every day. Jump in here in the cold water. It's so good for you. The salt, the cold, reduces all the inflammation. Your joints feel better. You feel more energy. You feel awake. You feel alive. Get in some cold salt water and look at how much different you'll feel. Like right now, I feel amazing. And that bird almost chipped my head. That's crazy. These birds have no fear. These birds have no fear. <sighs> it's freezing in the Pacific, but it's so nice. Whew. So in a silent car, you can hear me very well. Let's get into the market update. Let's see how we're doing. Turning on the screen recorder now. Three, two, one. All right, we're at $3,158.06. Uh, thank you, Fadil. Fadil, Thank you for signing up. I hope you're enjoying your free stock. Let's see what stock we got. I'm gonna choose the middle one. Let's scratch it up. Afria. Okay, never heard of this company. $5.39. I hope you got a good stock. I hope you got JP Morgan Chase or something nice. But whatever, free stocks, free stock. We can't complain. Great. So now we are up to $3,163.45. But there's some big news we need to talk about. The first one is Charles Schwab, a different brokerage, is offering commission free trading. And I think all the other leading platforms are starting to do this, which means that Robinhood is probably no longer going to be the top dog because now Robinhood has been up here because they offered commission free trading. So beginners that want to invest and only buy a small amount, well, they don't have to pay that commission because every time you buy a stock, imagine you have to pay five, seven dollars but you're only spending $50. That's 10% loss instantly for buying the company. Some people, it doesn't matter when they're buying, you know, I would say anywhere from $2,000 to $5,000. Then that little five, $7 commission when you buy and sell doesn't hurt you. But if you're trading with small amounts of money, it definitely hurts you and it's not good. But now that they're removing that, it's making it very competitive. And if I were to start all over, Oh, I stopped, I stopped the screen recording. Okay, and if I was starting all over again, I don't know if I would use Robinhood now because there's free trading on the better platforms. They're better in every other way. The only advantage Robinhood had was commission-free trading and the mobile interface looks nice, but sometimes the numbers are wrong. And Robinhood's not that bad, it gets the job done, but what I dislike is their customer service. To contact the people at Robinhood, you have to do some work. I'd have to go on Twitter and tag them to get a response. They're just not very responsive and as quick as other brokers. So if I were to start all over again, maybe I wouldn't use Robinhood. Maybe I would start with Charles Schwab now or some other broker, TD Ameritrade, who knows. But in the meantime, we're still gonna grow this Robinhood to $10,000. It's still really simple to use. I love the interface on the phone. I don't know if the other broker's interface's mobile platform will look nice. I know Vanguard, I really like Vanguard, but their platform, I don't like it. it doesn't look nice. Maybe I'll do a video soon talking about the Roth IRA, show you my Roth IRA, show you how I'm investing in there. That would be a future video. But for now, sticking with Robinhood, I want to see how they respond. Maybe they will offer something more now. Maybe they will be more competitive. Their customer service might step up and then Robinhood will be great. And something else I want to address. Uh, someone left a comment on one of the last videos saying, bro no disrespect but do you live in your car i think because like i have like pants hanging on the seat and that's just because i change in my car and i do a lot of things at once like i'll just change and go to the gym or i'll change and right now i'm at the beach right i just went surfing for a little bit i like to just have everything ready so i can do it quick get back to business get back to moving always in motion i don't stop moving i'm doing everything at once i'm on a phone call while i'm working out you know i like to get i get like to get a lot of things done at once but that's how I am. So I don't live in my car, but I live in my car. Okay, to answer that question. So let's see how our stocks are doing. Okay, AT&T, let's see from our equity, our total return, let's see how we're doing. We're up 30 cents on AT&T, $5 from the free stock, $3.86 on York Water, 
Let's see, we bought it at 39.54. We're up 10%. Nice. O Realty, we're up $4. American Water, we're up 3. Avi, we're up $6. And FedEx, we're down $31. Now this was a classic case of FOMO. If you saw in the last video, I had a limit buy at 160. I saw it went to 170. I got impatient and said, you know what? I'm just gonna buy it, I wanna get in. And what do you know? As soon as we buy in, it drops. And what? what how bad is it? 17%. This is why you dollar cost average because if you just buy in like this with all your money, you would have lost 17% of your actual or 18% of your main investment. That's no, no, no good. So now what we can do is buy another share. So, cause I still believe in this company, I'm gonna buy one share right here, 142.09. I did a market buy again, but let's see what it buys at, 142.07, even better. And now our average cost went down to 157.66. You see that? So dollar cost averaging will always help us when a company that you like is going down, but you still believe in them, because I still think FedEx is good for the long run, buy more, and that's what we just did. Waste management, we're down $3. Mm, that's probably just okay three percent i like waste management if it goes down more we will definitely be adding that to the portfolio coca-cola 53 dollars all right we're down two percent on coke and pfizer oh, 67 cents okay so pretty much the same let's look at western digital i want to buy one of this not sure if you've watched the movie the big short but michael burry the guy that predicted the 2008 market crash his portfolio compromised of like 10 stocks. Western Digital is about 10% of his portfolio. I like this company. I bought them in the past. They really, really dropped. I think they're undervalued. That's my opinion. Let's see. I see I last bought, I last sold it at 56.92 before starting this portfolio up. I'm just gonna buy it again at this price. I know that's let's see, limit 57.99. It's getting really hot in here. I would love to be out in the ocean still, but the audio would suck. So we're gonna just stay in here and sweat while we buy this stock. I'm just sweating, you're just watching. <laughs> you're just relaxing. Maybe you're in a room with AC and you're having a blast. All right, now we got Western Digital. Oh, limit buy, okay. We'll give it the rest of the day. Just drop one penny or something, come on, buy it. So now we're adding Western Digital. Let's look at, oh shoot, I'm really starting to sweat. Let's look at AMC. This was another company I really enjoyed. I sold it at 11.20, it dropped to 9.78. It's only $9, I'm just gonna buy one share. Yes, I'm market buying. Let's just get it in, 9.78, perfect. Let's add that. Now here's some advice for inspiration if you're bored or, or you're trying to look for some new stocks to buy. Look up dividend aristocrats. If you're investing with this strategy, if you're trying to build a dividend portfolio that's gonna provide you passive income forever, look up dividend aristocrats on Google. These are companies that have been paying an increasing dividend for the past 25 years. So through the 08 crash, the 2000.com bubble, they've been paying an increasing dividend. And that means that you know they're probably going to keep paying it, they're probably gonna keep increasing it. So I'll look that up with you right now. I'm left-handed, so holding the camera with my left hand and typing with my right feels a little weird. Here we are on Wikipedia, S&P 500 Dividend Aristocrats. Let's see if they have a list for us. So here's the nine new companies were added in 2012. Okay, 2014, just let's see if there's a list. Okay, this is as of April, which is six months old. 3M, AbV, it's in our portfolio. There's Aflac, AT&T in our portfolio, ADP, I like ADP actually, let's look at that right now. What I like about Robinhood is that the trading is no commissions and we just could buy one share of literally everything and kind of make our own index fund, our own S&P 500 with no expense fee. Let's buy one share of ADP right now. 158.89 and I'm sweating. All right, next let's look at Caterpillar, C-A-T. Let's see how it did in the past three months, past year, wow. 20% down. Five years, only up 22%. 2.5% dividend yield. PE ratio of only 11. Going to buy one share. 120.25. All right, let's go back to the list. So you can browse this list on your own. Just Google dividend aristocrats. You'll see these companies that have been paying. Coca-Cola's on there. Consolidated Edison. Exxon Mobil. Hormel Food Groups, McDonald's, gotta love McDonald's. Let's see what McDonald's is at right now. 
When I was in Paris, I saw a bunch of McDonald's everywhere and the food there was so much more clean than in the US. The food looked like the pictures. You order chicken nuggets or you order a double cheeseburger, it looks exactly like it does in the picture and it tastes clean and amazing. I'm not a big fast food person. I never eat fast food, but when I was there, I ate fast food. 211.92, wow, I remember this at $100. Okay, I last sold at 188, it went up way too much. I don't wanna buy it. I want to, but not now, gonna hold off. Let me know in the comments below any dividend stocks you want me to look at in the next video. Look up those dividend aristocrats, tell me any that you're interested in, maybe I'll buy them in the next video. Whatever you comment, I will look at. I respond to all of your comments. If you're just starting out trading, check out the other brokers because there's no commission, but if you still want a free stock, Sign up with the link below for that Robinhood stock. You can easily sign up, sell the stock, take the money, and throw it in your new portfolio. That's if you want a free stock. If not, just go sign up with a different broker. And keep in mind dividend aristocrats. These are good companies that they've been paying increasing dividends. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.